afternoon, Shelby County families. I'm coming to you from the Blair Center. We do a lot of training over here. Our staff, everybody from bus drivers, custodians, teachers, administrators, use this building on a routine basis to come and have some professional development time. And today is a personalized learning day. So some of your students are in the buildings getting some personalized learning, but the rest of the day, all of our staff are working on how to be better at their job. So today we're gonna have all of our maintenance crew and our custodians here and get some training on some other things. So I wanted to share that with you because even on a pro professional development day or a personalized learning day, our staff are learning just like our students are learning. Now, speaking of learning, we have a couple of things that have changed this week, and one of them is our Big Picture Learning Academy. We are just good stewards of our resources here in Shelby County, and we have realized over the last several years, we're really duplicating our efforts. Some of the tenets of the Big Picture project when it was started were uh, personalized learning, our advisories, having a good advisor, helping you along your, uh, your walk through your high school years, and then also having an internship where you get out of the classroom and out into the world of work. And over the last several years, we've actually put those, those things into place in our regular high schools. So we have been duplicating efforts. So it's a sad time for some of those that are in the Big Picture Academy because they are a little anxious and don't know what next year might look like for them. So anyone is welcome, everyone is welcome, to a meeting that we're going to have here at the Blair Center on Monday night at 6 o'clock. All parents, all students, anyone is, that is interested in how we're going to transition those students into their next school year is welcome to come. We hope to collaborate with you and make this a positive experience. And last but not least, we've been planning for spring break and everybody is excited about getting a little time away from school, away from each other and time to spend you know, with family and friends and possibly taking a short trip. So next week, we will be in school on Friday, April 1st. The 2nd through the 10th is spring break, and we will see everyone back here on April 11th. We hope you have a great weekend. We have five more days, and what I say is don't count the days, make the days count.